to MechWars and welcome back to another episode of Battletech as we continue the campaigns of Voodoo's Marauders and last time we managed to successfully free the planet of Smithen. Did a little bit of work, got a little bit of hot, knocked out about eight mechs and uh, yeah also managed to save some ammunition. Things worked out decently well around. Unfortunately everybody took just a little bit of damage. Nothing too major. The worst repair bill that we got was for two days long on our uh, Wolverine who cooked himself a little bit to ensure that he could kill an enemy target. Uh, other than that everything else was single day repairs. So because of that I've got three four days that I've got to kill and I don't want to leave Smith in because there's a priority mission here. So I decided what was the next best thing. Well, we'll take a short term contract here in Smith and, and there is a two and a half star battle contract that came up. So we kitted out the best mechs that we possibly could at the time. We have a stock dragon in here. Yes. Yes, I understand. But I needed a heavy mech to fill it. But we still managed to form a semi decent lance. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Anyway. Battle. For weeks now, directorate forces have been scouting territory near the restoration-controlled land. Previous surveys of this land shows nothing of interest, yet there they are. Whatever, is, whatever it is they found, we don't want them to have it. Go in there and destroy them. Command interface initiated. So it is a night operation, which is good, because we need to not be fighting in the daytime right now, so we can sneak around and do things. Time to earn our pay. Yes, indeed, and we have me in the Stock Dragon. I couldn't, in good faith, give this we this mech to anybody else. It is not a good mech. It is a stock dragon. So, yeah. I'm not a fan, but we needed the heavy mech to fill out the roster. Good to go. Behemoth, we've gi given the Super Blackjack. And I feel perfectly confident calling it the Super Blackjack because it's, you know, two AC5s and four medium lasers, and the Blackjack was two AC2s and four medium lasers. It's a Super Blackjack. That's what it's going to do. It is also armored to hell and back. We basically just maxed out the armor on this thing. And so it's currently car carting around 1,200 points of armor all around. But, you know, still 210 on the front. This thing I anticipate being a little bit more durable, although the arms are a little bit vulnerable. Still, with that said, I'm hoping it'll tank a lot of damage. Orders. Medusa is in the Scout Dragon, and as you can notice, the Scout Dragon is much better armored than the Stock Dragon. And we did it that way because it is designed to move fast, move mobile, and as you can see, it moves pretty far. And also, with maximum jump jets. So, very nimble. I've equipped it with two machine guns, just in case it gets nice and close up and personal with somebody. Uh, twin medium lasers for that nice, reliable, and relatively low, dam low uh, cost damage. And then a pair of SRM-4s. Uh, SRM-4 and SRM-6. Both have plus 2 damage. The SRM-6 is also packing, I believe, stability damage bonus. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's got a stability damage bonus, which will help it uh, hopefully knock things down and be mobile and dangerous. Yes, Commander. We also have our scout quick draw. I like to not combine scouts in this, but you know what? I didn't really have an option. It was either that or bring nothing. And we needed to bring something. So let's get this lance rolling, get ready for fighting and doing the damages. Copy that. The enemy is somewhere off in this direction. We have found the enemy. 40-ton mech. Okay, Cicada maybe? I want to say Cicada. It is a medium mech. We are all heavy, so it gets the first move. And it's going to stomp out here into the middle. What you going to do? You're going to expose yourself? It is a Cicada. A CDA 2A. That looks like three medium lasers. He only fired the one, though, so it might be a single medium laser and two small lasers? We'll find out shortly, because it'll be our turn. We'll walk up there and punch him in the face. Or do equally nasty things. A 55 tonner Wolverine. Long range fire coming down. Uh, managed to... <laughs> managed to glance the non-scout dragon. He wasn't even being targeted. He still got hit. Alright, the uh, scout quick draw needs to roll up and be devastating and dangerous. So let's roll up and be devastating and dangerous. Not particularly great accuracy, to be honest. But you know what? He's going to be in the middle of the water. He's going to be at maximum evasion. He's going to basically kick butt. I'm probably going to persist and strike with him just to ensure he's dead. What are we revealing? Anything? We've got an additional mech on screen. Unknown type. Unknown weight class. Not a big deal. We're going to core this guy out because he is not undercover right now and he's kind of ramshackle. So just put one right through his center. Yep, all weapons. Blast away. Call a child in the center. That'll also make him a bit slower. Structure exposed. Center torso. There we go. Oh, the scout quick drop. It's useful. It is designed to do this. Enemy turn, they do have a heavy mech. She is a 65 tonner. Ooh, what are you? I'd like to know. Oh, give! Give now! You, you, you're giving that to me. We're capturing this. Pilots, okay. It's time for game plan. 
This is ours. We're stealing this catapult. It's a catapult K2. That means it's got two heavy energy armaments on the arms instead of the standard missile launcher catapult. We're stealing a catapult. I want one. All right. That means we've got to completely knock out the other one. So let's get full forward, full force. Uh, that should put me in reasonably good range to blitz you with the universe. So long as you don't have too much evasion going on. How much is... Yeah. Should be good enough for blitzing the universe. Oh, crap. Additional enemies detected. I meant to jump jet. I forgot I wasn't in my SE. So I meant to jump jet, and I didn't. Gosh darn it all. What's up, boss? We still want to capture that catapult. We're still going to capture this catapult. Uh, Behemoth is perfectly happy to be standing up here on a ridge. Got a shadow hawk, don't care. Catapult, love, desire, wish for all things. Give me that gosh darn catapult. So, obviously we're going to plink away at him. So, give me two AC5 shots, 75% chance shot. accuracy. Behemoth's giving that long range fire support and managing to nail it. What do you need? Yeah, Medusa, you're the one with the jump jets. Let's get you up and close and a personal. Am I going to be in machine gun range? Not quite. Next turn I will be, though. So that'll give you heat cooling down. I don't really care because you're... I'm pretty sure... You're, yeah, you're pretty chill mech. So get in some cover. Let's get this dragon up nice and close. All hail the dragon. Oh, please. Please, for the love of goodness. Give me that one good hit there. Firing. Firing. That's a torso destroyed and a head hit. That's wow, that's two pilot injuries already. Can I get head hits on him instead? Got a griffin. Griffins are solid, especially if he's a griffin with a I think you're one with a cannon, but do you have a no he's got the PPC instead. I gotta get a sound mod for that, because that PPC sounds so weak. Luckily the dragon Reporting. wasn't covered. Minimal Didn't really damage. matter all that much. And Shadowhawk's walking on forward. Still has his main cannon. Which is not ideal. But we'll deal. Not ideal, but we'll deal. Also being at full Damage speed with that minimal. dragon really kind of helped out a little bit. It's not a good mech, but it's an okay mech and we'll have to use it. Ready for orders. <sighs> Do I start laying damage down? I think we go for the kill over here. Skyrus is going to be good for knocking people over. My problem is... Standing by. Standing by. My problem is actually pretty clear here. Yeah, I think that's what we got to do. Oh, yeah, that'll rip him to pieces. I kind of want to save his machine guns, though. Okay, let's pick the useless one. I'm sorry. I know it's not useless, but it's it's hardly ideal. No, we reserve. Pure reserve. Because I want to know what this catapult does. I was thinking about trying to shoot at the catapult, see what I could get done with him, but he's going to get a shot off anyway with those BPCs. Oh, his darks are exposed. On me, no less. But now I know where he's going to be. Warning. Armor breached. That's fine. Internal damage. We're, we're going to tank up now. We're going to... Oh, he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any coverage. Oh, we can make this work. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, just weaken him. Structure exposed. That's fine. Not the structure I wanted exposed, but we'll have to deal. Oh, come on. Blow something up. I wanted the... I need that... Um, I need you... Quite kindly. I would definitely multi-target this. I need you very kindly to die so I get inspiration so I can have him blitz everything that this catapult ever had in his leg. VB, I assume you can't... Yeah, they can't reach. But that puts me in perfect range for all this. Multiple Start laying down the fire. 
Is that a center? Yeah, there we go. Center torso. Pilot incapacitated. And, ooh, very unsteady. Ready for orders. How's he doing? Oh, he's vulnerable. Skyros will be able to knock him down. I think. If not, then we have Medusa come in for the follow-up. But Skyros should be able to knock him down. Locking in all weapon systems. Well, I'd be, I'm hoping he hits the lake to knock him over. PPC destroyed, heat sink, so he's lost one of his PPCs. Score. Critical hit. Alright, now we'll be able to knock him down, I think. Yep. Because we got Medusa charging in. So, jump. Go for the cover jump or just go for the full on? I think we go for the cover jump. It's too dangerous not to. And we are moving last, so we will... Here we go. Hopefully be able to move before this catapult. Shut off the lasers. Shut off both the lasers. I really want the machine gun to get involved here. And I want lots of rolling against lots of things. Left arm destroyed! Laser crit! Head hit! Ooh, that's good. Inflicted some heavy damage. And he's over for a knockdown. Good show there. Minus one to his initiative, so we will all move before him, which means we all get called shots on him. It's gonna be beautiful. We just gotta survive a griffin with a PPC. To be fair, griffin with PPC, dangerous mech. Gonna shoot our gra dragon, and he's gonna miss. Because that dragon was maximum evading. Dragon don't care. Alright, everybody, you ready for your called shots here? Gotta go with a torso. How much health is on the torso? 46. Or I could go for headshots directly. We're all gonna get to try and roll against it, so we may as well try. Waiting for orders. Behemoth, I need you to multi-target. Oh, no, you can't. It's just gonna be a normal shot. Blow open that torso, please, if you can. Locking on. Left torso destroyed. That's a side torso pilot, pilot injure. Need something, Chief? Yeah, I need you to be flying. Because what I want is called shots for free on his uh, on his other torso. Because I think we've actually been pretty good about that. Can I get both of you in? Just barely. Fly forward. Hey, evasive. Uh, center torso should be able to survive a full salvo if I aim everything I've got. 48%. I kind of want to shut off a laser. Risk it. Here it comes. PP's crit. That's good. Solid connection on that one. How's he doing now? Hope you're working so gosh darn hard to save him. Ooh, 64 versus 34. Aye, aye. Yeah, Medusa. He will do 90 damage on a punch. Okay, that's a problem. Not a huge problem, but a small one. That'll work, okay. On my way. So the key here is to not cause enough damage to kill him on the center torso, but to cause enough damage to kill him. Alright, I need to deal 34 damage. 15, 30. Plus 60 is 90. He can't survive that. Plus 40. He also can't survive that, but I might be able to skew that enough. Where we go with the laser? 30, 50. As long as we don't roll everything into the torso, we kill him. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers, cross your fingers! Yes! Oh, yes! Oh, no! No, I just realized. Gosh darn it, we went through all of that only for me to now realize 
This is a zero priority, two basic salvage mission. Oh gosh, darn it all. That's... Oh no. All of that. It's a catapult. It's an intact catapult. Why? That, that's not cool. That's... That's making me cry. All weapons committed. Oh, you managed to hit that. Nice job. It's actually exposed. Knocked him back one. That's, that's the board part. Unfortunately, he's still gonna get to move. All of that... Oh. All of that effort. And it's a waste. We... We took it intact. We took it completely intact. What's up, Bob? I am just oh, the heartbreak. I uh, just move order received. We had it. God, we had it. Yeah, there we go. Call shots to kill him. We'll have no trouble now. I just I I don't even know how to. Oh the. It's not first. It's, it's a feeling of almost helplessness. Orders. Oh, you're not facing the right direction, are you? Because we had him. Oh, did we have him? I think I hit something good. Yeah, it looks like you did. I am proud of you. Though this Jaeger is not doing too terribly. I might actually try and get those uh, AC2s back on there. This is really not a bad setup. Walking through the water, slowly overpowering this lance. Still, oh, we, we had it. We had it. Oh, the first catapult we ran into the game. I wanted that catapult so badly. Enemy Just for personal destroyed. reasons. It It's not the mass missile catapult, but still. Mission successful. Oh, maybe we'll get lucky. It'll give us both parts and we'll be able to find another catapult someday. Kicking myself for not taking this as a salvage contract. We took it as a cash only contract. Show me what? You gave me the Griffin? Really? One, two, three. Fully intact. Fully intact. Oh. That's enough to make you cry. Everybody raise a glass of that catapult because that was beautifully executed, perfectly, precisely measured to ensure we would get that catapult. And then it was all for naught because during the contract negotiations I said, give me all the money you can. There can't possibly be a good enough mech in a two-star mission. I am just beside myself. Oh, on that... So very depressing, yet incredibly success successful note. We're going to have to end today's episode. I've been Tirak. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive notifications every time I post one of these videos, press the little bell icon. Leave a comment. What kind of mech would you want, ideally? Because Catapult is one of the ones that I really want in this game. Was what, When you were playing through, if you played through, what was the one mech that you were hunting for? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you all in the next episode.